Girl, that's too much hair. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm still going though. Listen long, long enough, you can love me. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between. I'm back with somebody else's hair, and guess what? Ooh. This is somebody else's hair and my hair at the same time. And guess what? It is wine and wigs day. Clink, 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 clink. This is my scalp. This ain't nobody else's scalp but mine. Hello? It's giving sew-in. Y'all remember we used to leave our sew-ins in for like three months? <laughs> All I had to do is get a little refresh. Braids hanging down a hump. We lived our best lives back then. Before we get into this hair. I need to ask y'all a couple of questions. First, what are you drinking? I'm drinking green tea and I'm drinking it out of a paper straw, which is tied through and delayed. Also, while you're doing that, could you hit the like button and can you also hit subscribe? Hit the post notification bell just so you can see every single time I post because I'm coming to you every single week, two to three times a week with unnecessary videos. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into this hair. So I want to say thank you to Beauty Forever Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. This wig on my head is the straight V part wig and it is 24 inches long and I'll leave the density down below, but it's more of a natural density as you can see. So we can go ahead and pop the hood on this wig. This V part wig features five clip-in combs and three sliding combs and adjustable straps in the back. Now, how we usually wear a V part wig, how a lot of people do, you can wear V part wigs in multiple ways. Some people say you can wear it with no leave out. I don't, but some people say you can wear it with no leave out. And you also can wear it the way I do, which is a little bit on the top, none on the sides. I'm just giving baby hairs. I'm giving illusion tees, okay? This is a mirage. The great thing about V part wigs is that they're very temporary. But one thing that I've learned about V part wigs for me is that V part wigs like to slip and slide around my head like a summertime. I do have a new method today that I tried that I absolutely love. I did try a new method with applying this wig to keep the wig, the cones from sliding down my head, creating a mullet. I'm not sure if this method is healthy for your hair girl. I'm not the girl for health. I'm not the healthy hair girl. I'm the easy hair girl. So if you want to see how I applied this wig with illusion edges and baby hairs, please keep on watching. And I'll be back with my final thoughts on this hair and a coupon code. <laughs> Me and my little bun. Hey girl, let's go ahead and get started on installing this V-part wig. Y'all know <sighs> the great thing about V-part wigs is that they're super duper easy to install. No muss. No fuss. Y'all know with V-part wigs, we gotta start with the base. I don't do any edges out on my V-part wig installs, so hair is looking thicker and better. <laughs> it's thicker and better. Um, we're not doing a lot of leave out. I don't know why we gotta do this before we part. What is this? Now they say technically you can do no leave out on these V-part wigs. Not I, said the cat. Mm -mm, it don't work for me. Shout out to the dandruff. She always makes a debut. I know that's right. I'm trying to leave out as much as I can without looking crazy. Let me part my hair. Let's see, all the way back here. Y'all, my hair is falling out. <laughs> it's literally falling out right in front of me. I got about seven hairs on my desk. Hey hair, mm-hmm. We're twisting away our natural hair right here and then for the rest of this i'm just gonna go ahead and braid her down we're gonna braid it down typically i do one braid back but i think i'm gonna do two braids like downward like this not like back i'm gonna see if i can get a little bit more of a grip on it so we're gonna part this little section part out in front i'm gonna do the same thing on the other side right here we're gonna braid this part down and then we're gonna braid the back part down so section this hair in the back so let's just braid it dang i had to put on some press on nails i don't know what it is
okay so our hair is braided down i did four braids i did two in the front and two in the back let me give y'all a little spin oh oh no <laughs> oh is that hair on my back girl my hair is shut ding you hear me here's the back <laughs> so i got two braids in the back and then two in the front y'all already know since i do edgeless v-part wig applications i like to do my baby hairs first because i like for my baby hairs i like for them to be laid down you know what i'm saying laid down but we're just going to use some eco styler gel to lay down the edges and give the impression of realness we'll brush some of this back and then we're just going to lay down the baby hairs My baby hairs aren't brushing down because they still have gel in it so i don't girl i don't know okay so this is the trick i had wanted to try but i want to see if i can get like a much more secure hold without having to like dig it dig the wig into my scalp and also make it look a little bit more realistic as well so i'm gonna try a method y'all we gonna see you can use got to be glued spray but I'm gonna use some spray just right at the roots, just a little bit to get the hair tacky and to also create a little bit more of an anchor for the hair so it's not like dragging down on your hair. I wonder if it's gonna make a difference. I'm just gonna cover it up and then right here, ooh, I gotta wash my hair. I'm just gonna add some spray and I'm gonna get this hair out of the way. And then do the same thing on this side. I'm just spraying right into the roots of the hair, the root. Now, I hope this doesn't dry out my hair. <laughs> I guess we'll see, girl. But I really want a more secure hold, but I still want it to be temporary. Oh, I'm gonna have to wash my hair. Oh girl, that's not gonna be fun. The thing about sprays like this, these sprays are sticky and they're like hardening. So I hope it don't dry our hair. I'm trying to see if these V parts will stick, girl, without digging their fingernails right into our scalp. Cause that's what it feels like. So let me go ahead and blow dry the hair up the top. Okay, the hair is like a little bit harder up there. I'm just making this up as we go, chef. Okay. Oh, this is the wig. I showed y'all in the beginning what it looks like. This is the V part. And we're just going to go ahead and clip it in. I don't like using the edge sliding combs or this middle comb right here. I don't like that comb. I don't like dealing with her. It hurt. Okay, so let's go ahead and place it on the head. And I'm going to try and get the... Oh, oh, girl, I had a whole clip back there. Get. <laughs> See, we're going to place the wig. Oh. Let's See, and I'm going to slide. Oh, it definitely feels like tighter. I'm going to pull it up just a little bit closer to the front right there. And I want the track or whatever you call that to be up against the part let's do the same thing on this side oh Ooh. yeah last calm oh oh that is tight oh it is secure. Oh, this is pretty. So the wig is secure and it looks good, baby. Oh yes, it looks good. And it's right up against the part. So I wanna do one other thing. 
hear me out, hear me out. <laughs> I want to also spray right here and see if I can get it to like stick a little bit. Like, is that too much? It definitely feels more secure, um, like much more secure than it typically is when I apply my wigs. Ow, oh. I wanna take the wig dealer spray and I wanna spray, let me go ahead and bring y'all close. This part, it's not exactly a track, it's more like lace. Like almost like a meshy lace and I wanna spray that and see if I can get it sticky. I wonder if I should leave it alone. Should I leave it alone? I'm not gonna leave it alone. I'm just gonna spray it to like kind of melt it down. I hope that makes sense. Ooh, my hair gonna hate me later, ciao. See, we're gonna take a rat tail comb. I'm gonna blow dry this until it's tacky and then like melt it down. We're blow drying on high and cool. Ooh, y'all see that? It's like hard right here. This part is like kind of stuck. Like it's like I wanted it to be, let's see. I don't know if that's making a difference, but it definitely, I don't have that sliding sort of pain. Maybe I'm over here just playing, doing nothing, making myself look like I'm doing something. <laughs> We're gonna take the other side and do the same thing. right I, why am i yelling <sighs> i like it and look at the hair y'all 24 inches i know that's right the hair looks absolutely stunningly beautiful so this is a 24 inches of hair it's really really silky we just need to get my natural hair to blend my hair is not silky that's not the texture so i need to just straighten out this hair a little bit so I'm gonna use a little bit of a heat protectant, so I'm gonna use the Tresemme, uh, what do you call this? I'm gonna use the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Heat Protectant. I'm just gonna spray down the hair a little bit because we need to straighten it just a little bit. Okay, see so these ends are real pointy. I don't like that. I think I wanna go a little bit more blunt. Let's see, this is how it looks. Let me see if I can just do a little trim. You see that? So I'm just going to use my Annie shears and I'm just going to trim some off the bottom. Oh, that's so much better. Is that even though? I don't know. So let's go ahead and just straighten the hair just a little bit. I just want the bone straight sort of look so i'm just gonna straighten the hair a little bit then we're gonna straighten our hair girl and we'll be done this is perfect for summer i'm gonna use i'm gonna do big sections because i can't be bothered honey so i'm gonna use my uh what do you call this this is my t3i smart iron and i'm just gonna flat iron the hair i'm not even gonna do the chase method i'm just gonna just get rid of them processed bumps Girl, that's too much hair. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm still going though. I need to take a smaller section. I'm fooling around. I'm gonna quit playing. Ah, ah, it's hot. Okay. Okay, so let's keep going, straightening the hair until we get to the top. But I'm doing big sections. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care.
Okay, so the hair has been straightened and it is like, look at that. Ooh. And this looks really pretty. It's like so silky. Y'all know I'm not really a silky hair girl, but I've been wanting to do like that bone straight sew-in sort of look since the girls are doing sew-ins and natural hair stuff these days. I have to protect my natural hair because my hair is feeble. It's weak, it's weary. And we're gonna try and blend this hair in seamlessly. But first I need to use some heat protectant. I'm going to use this hair straightening hair polisher. A little bit goes a long way. Like I, I just did too much. I'm gonna rub it in my hands. And then I'm just gonna add it to the hair. So I'm gonna take my flat iron and I'm just gonna slowly straighten. Okay. It's gonna blend. I don't go all the way up to the roots because I've already pre-straightened my roots. Y'all, this is so pretty. Now that the hair is straightened, all we need to do is add a little wax stick just to make sure the hair don't get to flying and floating away. When your hair hasn't been trained, it starts to be real, real erratic and do her own thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the ZLA Hairline Master wax stick. Put a little bit on the hand and I'm just gonna rub it into the hair. I could have left a little bit more hair out, but I didn't, so. Girl, that is it. My hair is much thinner in the front. I should have left a little bit more hair out in the front, but that's okay. You really can't tell, tell, tell. You know, you kind of tell, but you can't really tell. Look at the edges. That's what I'm talking about. Hold on, let me show y'all the back. Hold on. Yeah, throw the hair back there. This is what it looks like in the back. Oh, yes. Look how long this hair is. It looks so pretty. Like I said, this is 24 inches of glorious hair and it looks gorgeous and it was so easy to apply. I know the girls are wearing um, tape-ins and fusions. Oh, what do you call them? <laughs> it is more of a trend to go more of a natural looking route. I'm always gonna be the girly that's going to love a good lace frontal wig, but as summer, spring come around. This is a good option just to throw on, let your scalp breathe a little bit. I love it. Ah, it's so pretty and silky. Like, what are we talking about? Girl, that was quick and painless. Hold on, let's put on some lip gloss because it's looking real pale over here. This hair isn't super thick. It's more like a natural density. So if you like really, really thick, straight hair, please keep that in mind. Somebody take me out. I gotta call my husband and tell him to take me to lunch. I wanna say thank you to Beauty Forever for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. If you would like to purchase this wig, I do have a coupon code. If you would like $20 off your wig purchase, you can use the coupon code BEAUTYTB. That is beauty. YTB for $20 off. Get some money off, sis. I love you all so, so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Quick, easy, and painless. Bye.